Today I'm reviewing Envelope 2.0 by Brandon David and Chris Turchi. Also, I'll be announcing the winner to my free magic trick giveaway. All that right here, right now on Start Magic Reviews. Stick around. Welcome everyone to my channel. Thank you for joining me for a magic product review. I will be announcing the winner of my free magic trick giveaway later on in this video, so stick around, but let's get into this review. So what is Envelope 2.0? It is a transformation effect. You will show your spectator a small white envelope, which can be inspected, and you, the magician, will place the small white envelope into your back pocket. You then show your spectator a deck of cards and ask your spectator to choose a card. This is a free choice. There is no force. You then pull out a Sharpie, hand it to your spectator, and ask your spectator to sign the face of the card while your back is turned. After the spectator has signed the face of the card, you turn back and face the spectator and take the signed card and lose it into the middle of the deck. You then explain to your spectator that you're going to make their signed card disappear from the deck and reappear into the white envelope that's in your back pocket. And then, right in front of their eyes, instantly, you change the deck of cards into the white envelope. You then take their signed card out of the white envelope and then show them that the deck of cards is now in your back pocket. So what do you get for your $49.95 from your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer? You will receive this package from Penguin Magic. They put out a great case. It's a magnetic uh, closing case to keep your uh, gimmicks safe when you need to store them and inside you will receive this is the white envelope this is the ungimmicked envelope and you will also receive your gimmicked envelope you will also receive a link to a tutorial that you can stream or download the tutorial is one hour and 56 minutes and 36 seconds long at the beginning of the tutorial you will get Nick LaCapa. He's at the Penguin Magic Studio, and he will show you how the gimmick works and how to set everything up. He will also go over the basic handling of Envelope 2.0. After Nick LaCapa, then they go over to Brandon David and Chris Turchi. They will go over their handlings of Envelope 2.0, and they are going to show you multiple and multiple handlings of how they do Envelope 2.0. The tutorial is well lit, well shot, clear sound with no music in the background. Is it well made? Yes it is. Both the gimmick envelope and the ungimmick envelope are both well made. They're made out of Tyvek uh, material which is very hard to tear. So both uh, the gimmicked and ungimmick envelope should last you quite a while. Is there any DIY? No, there isn't. Everything comes ready to go out of the box. The only thing you need to supply is a deck of cards. And I believe that envelope 2.0 only comes in red writer back. Also, you're going to need to supply a Sharpie. How are the slights? There really isn't any slights involved with envelope 2.0. Uh, their card really is a free choice. There is no force involved. And you really do take their signed card out of the envelope. Now, you will need to know how to hold a pinky break. Not do a pinky break, but hold a pinky break. Plus, there's a point in the routine where you're going to need to ditch the deck. Now, they go over uh, Chris... Turchi and Brandon David go over multiple ways of ditching this deck in their routine. And it is quite easy to do. You will have plenty of time to ditch the deck as your back is turned to the spectator as they're signing their card. But more on that in just a bit. How hard is it to perform? Envelope 2.0 is an easy effect to do. The moves are not hard. This is an effect that I call a confidence builder. I'm talking to the beginner magicians that are watching right now. Why am I saying this? 
because the intermediate magicians watching won't have a problem with what I'm saying. I'm speaking to the beginner magicians watching me right now. That being said, mag beginner magicians that are watching should not shy away from this effect. You will only need to hold a pinky break, not get a pinky break. There is a difference. Why do you need to hold a pinky break? Because everything above the pinky break will be the actual deck and you will need to ditch that into your back pocket. As I said, you will have plenty of time to do this as your back is turned to your spectator as they are signing their card. You can even ask your spectator as they're signing their name to also draw a little doodle, which will also give you more time to ditch the deck. Learning to do this routine will build your confidence. It's not hard to do. In the tutorial, Nick Lacopa does a live performance in a bar of envelope 2.0 and in it he explains that he screws up the ditch and has to go back into his pocket. When you watch the tutorial you will not notice this but he makes a, he makes a point of going back and showing you that he actually screwed up the ditch. When he points this out and you rewatch it and he rolls the uh, video back to show you at that point how he screws it up it's hilarious. You have to see it. The point I'm making is, is that when he screwed up the ditch, his back was turned to the spectator as they were signing the card. You have plenty of time to ditch the deck. No one is paying attention. How's the reset? The reset only takes a few seconds and you're ready to go again. How's the pocket space? Everything with envelope 2.0 fits right into your card box. You have your cards. You just need a Sharpie. How are the angles? The angles are very good. When you're performing envelope 2.0 and you have the gimmick in your left hand, you need to watch your angles on your right hand side. When you have the gimmick in your right hand, you need to watch the, the angles on your left hand side. But it's nothing serious. Can it be inspected? The small white envelope that you show at the beginning of the effect can be inspected. Now, when you turn the deck of cards, into the envelope, that envelope cannot be inspected. Who is envelope 2.0 for? This is for anyone performing close-up, stage, parlor, table hopping. I had the original envelope that came out years ago and it was a great effect. But this is a updated version that is much better. The original gimmick you had to hold on to. You couldn't let go of the gimmick. The new gimmick locks into place, so that way you can be more free with it. You can toss it up in the air and catch it. Also, there is a convincer that has been added to the gimmick. In the tutorial, when you see the magician pull back the cards and show a few cards to the spectator just before it changes into the envelope, that is new and been added. Envelope 2.0 is a super strong visual hard hitting effect that gets great reactions. It takes a beginner to a beginner intermediate level to perform. Let's talk about the positives for Envelope 2.0. It's visual and it's strong magic. The reactions that you get are great. There is no difficult moves. There's no knuckle busting moves. And it packs small but plays big. And for the negatives, the negatives that I come up with is after the deck changes into the envelope, that envelope cannot be inspected. And the only other thing that I come up with is that some beginner magicians may shy away from this because of the ditch, but they shouldn't. This is a great effect. My take on envelope 2.0, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. This is a great opening effect that will knock your spectator's socks off. Take the time to learn this effect and you will have a super strong piece of magic. Now, what everyone's been waiting for, it's time to announce the winner to my free magic trick giveaway for this month. And the winner is Daredevil. Congratulations, you've just won a free copy of Super Sucker by Whiskey Nando. You have seven days, Daredevil, to contact me here on my channel and I'll need you to provide me with your email. I will email you back to get your address and where to get this sent out to. 
and I'll get it shipped out to you and also provide you with a tracking number. To everyone else who entered the giveaway, I give away free magic each and every month on my channel. So I have a new magic trick giveaway coming up at the end of this month. All you need to do is be subscribed to my channel, drop me a like, also hit that notification bell so that way you don't miss any of my free magic trick giveaways or my magic reviews. Also, follow me on my Instagram channel where you will see what new magic tricks that I get in and also you will get a heads up on what my next magic trick review will be about on my channel. Thank you all for watching and I will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.